welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am still wearing the same clothes that I was in the last video, and that is because I am filming it one after the other. So you are going to be getting some content that I pre-recorded um, for quite a few weeks just because I need to get back on track and focus on my schooling again, all of that fun stuff. So today is Jesus Monday. Um, and so today I'm going to be talking about some of my favorite Bible verses that helped me through my depression. And um, I kind of touched on that in my testimony. And by touched on it, girl, I mean, I dove right into it. And um, some of these Bible verses are what truly got me through it. Um, so I'm just going to go into some of them and talk about kind of how I feel about them, how I came to um, see them, stuff like that. This is my um, Bible journal thing. I put all my devotionals and teachings and stuff like that in here. So the verse is Philippians 4, 7, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. This one, this one really gets me because it is so incredibly true. I sometimes have a hard time registering with things I don't really understand in the Bible. Some verses I'm just like, girl, what? I don't know. I need somebody to interpret for me. I love the verses that are very straightforward and I can understand. And this one really hits home because the peace is the only thing that got me through that whole entire trial. That whole season of my life. Without peace, I would not I would have failed. The next verse is Proverbs 3, 6. On everything you do, put God first and he will direct you and crown your efforts with success. First of all, how freaking incredible is that? Putting God first allows you to be successful. When I was a new believer and I would hear that verse, it didn't click until the second or third time I heard it because I was like, I don't know, if I put him first, isn't that technically like him succeeding and like not me and then like it's not my will so that doesn't really make any sense to me. It was a lot of things that needed to change and I needed to understand things a bit more. And so now when I look on this verse, I understand that as long as you have God first, as long as you are seeking him above anything else, it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what you accomplish. So he's only going to lead you to success. He's not going to bring you so far and then just leave you. That's what my mom used to always say to me is God is never going to bring you somewhere and then just drop you off. He brought you this far for a reason and he'll continue to bring you this far. This is my last favorite Bible verse um, that got me through that crazy hard time. As there 414, perhaps this is the moment for which you have been created. How freaking incredible is that verse? It gave my life meaning. It made me realize that my suffering wasn't for nothing. That I was going to get better. That there was still hope. Because I can use this. I can use this to help others. And that's with anything. It, you know, it doesn't all have to be just about religion. It can just be use the depression I had felt to help somebody else who's going through a tough time because now I understand. And it's honestly just incredible what Bible verses are brought to you at what time. This was, I believe, the second or third day that I was using this. And I had written down a few other devotionals on lined pieces of paper before this. So this is maybe my eighth or ninth, ninth devotional. And this one touched my heart so freaking much. What a, what a freaking blessing. What a blessing it is. So I just wanted to share those little verses. This is a really super duper quick video. I hope this touched your heart. I hope that these can be just even a little bit encouraging to you. Um, I hope you have an amazing blessed day. Uh, please cover your face, wash your hands, um, be safe, Black Lives Matter. Jesus freaking loves you. How incredible is that? Have a beautiful, blessed, amazing day, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!